people in faces, that's because I'm listening to them as well, okay? So I'm sure I look quite peculiar, but you'll have to bear with me. So, does anybody understand John? Because I've got a John first, straight away, right up there. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> is John up there or down here? Okay, right, and your name is? Sean. Hi, Sean. Can you write stuff for Sean? Because I'm going to talk to Sean. Is that okay? So he's turned up and he's right at the front of the queue, okay? So he feels like he's up there at the moment this evening. He's really keen and he's really eager, okay? So has nobody brought him through before? Has anybody else talked to him? Or is this his first time? Because he's like, yeah. all I can explain to all of you is I don't see them, I feel their personality and he's really excited. It's like he's really eager and he hasn't done it before. Okay, so he feels like he's in a rush. So he's sort of nearly pushed his way, <laughs> way out of there, pushed his way to the front of the queue. Does that make sense, Sean? Mm -hmm. So he's quite excited, but he's still like a gentleman with it. Are you with me? He hasn't been rude, but he has wanted to make sure that you're not going home tonight unless he's spoken to you. So he wants you to know he's okay, he's safe, he's at peace, he's getting the hang of things. Are you with me? He's also saying, sorry, can you see that? My hair's a... Yeah. I've rolled my sleeves up because throughout the evening what happens is when spirit come, and that's an image, I can't make that happen, all the hair stand up all over my body. Like goosebumps or people say somebody's walked over your grave and like, John's like, I'm here, I'm here. I'm like, all right, okay, I'm like, well, I'm over there. Okay. He's really lovely. He's really protective. He feels fatherly and protective. Do you understand that? So is he dad? Oh, good enough, that's fine. A fatherly and protective, that's what he's using when he's describing himself, okay? But he thinks of you as a daughter. He with me he doesn't think of you as, like, oh, yeah, you know, you've married. He's very, very fond of you, is what he's saying. And he's holding his hand like that, bless him. He's also talking about showing me, like, gardens and flowers and whatever. I'm, I, and I feel like, I know I'm old, so you'll have to bear with me, 50-something, as Ember reminded me earlier. Uh, you know Percy Thrower? All I can see is he's got, there's garden and flowers and borders and, you know, like, say if somebody wants to have the lawn and they'd have the lines coming up and down. Mm. Did he have lines on his lawn? Did, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm seeing lines. He did love his garden, yeah. It's like that. Are you with me? The borders are beautiful and he's firing names at me and I don't know how to spell them. You're not going to be able to spell this. You know, like, chrysanthemums, polyanthus, I don't know, all the names of things that I'm like, what? I just know they're very vibrant and colourful mm -hmm. and you know what he's saying and just for all of you to know obviously I've not been to heaven and neither of you okay but apparently up there everything is more colourful and more vibrant and he's so happy because he's like oh you want to see it up here are you with me mm -hmm. you want to see how beautiful it is it's it's like flowers and colours and things that he's never seen so he's so happy okay mm -hmm. so everybody down here you'll be seeing people that are connected to him he's like will you please tell everybody I'm okay so he's sort of in his element. He's saying, oh, I feel like he's with his mum. Okay? I don't know whether you remember when he was here, he might have made fond memories or remarks, but he's with his mum. She died so shortly after he just... Oh, well, there you go. So everybody here can understand why. Are you with me? Because he's going, oh, it's important that, you know, everybody down there, I'm all right, I'm all... and I'm with my mum. That's what you should say, I'm with my mum. And put his hands there like that. Like he's so happy that they're so it's like a big reunion and he and, and he couldn't be any happier and he just wants you to make sure everybody here knows and he said i don't want anybody he said if you want to shed a tear shed a tear he said but do you know what i'd rather you talked about nice things and gardens and flowers and stuff like that and how happy i am mm -hmm. that i'm with mum and we're together and everything's lovely are you with me now, i don't know why i've had a random image not just of the national trust and these flowers and places was he a national trust member there's no, something about this it's something like that and i can see something like ragley hall are you with me there's like some stately so whether he went on day trips i don't really know why he's showing me that but mm. as if yeah they look like national trust places you know if you go out and you go to really nice buildings with gardens mm -hmm. so they're like beautiful gardens rather than just a residential garden mm -hmm. and that's what you're showing me but i can hear ragged hall and i don't know why have you ever well, been to ragged hall he, funnily enough he, he sees the ragged hall with his daughter and his daughter likes to go to ragged hall quite a lot and that's my husband's sister yeah. well then everybody else here can understand what i'm saying because mm -hmm. to me it doesn't matter how random the image or word that i'm getting tonight i'm going to give it to you because it might sound weird to me, somebody going, Raggedy all, and in my head I'm going, Raggedy all what? Yeah. There. 
so carry on going. Mm. He likes to go. So wherever they go, he'll go with them. So because, and they do things like this, just so all of you know, because people come to events like this and they go, oh, I'm sceptical, oh, I don't know, she might not be any good, blah, blah, blah. But when they come up with specifics like that, that's specific. Are you with me? It's not just I've got a nice garden or whatever. He's giving you his name. He's with his mum. He's with Bradley Hall, as he's described. Are you with me? So it's really important for you, because when you might go home and tell somebody, and they'll go, mm. <laughs> and they, really, yeah. And then you go, yeah, what he said about Bradley Hall, his name and whatever, and then you'll know. Mm. But he's absolutely lovely, and he, he, he wanted to get in first. So you need to keep going. So you need to go to Ragley Hall as well. If they're going, you all need to go and have a jolly. So you might need to consider getting your national trust. What is it? You have a, a yearly thing yeah. that makes it cheaper. Yeah. One of those. Because he's really keen and he wants everybody to be happy and enjoying and going out and doing things. It, it all needs to be positive. doesn't want anybody sat at home going, oh, he's not there, he's not the same. It's time I'm all up for everybody having a good time. Is that okay? Can I leave that for Nice. I met where we're going. I did say there was a queue of them, didn't I? <laughs> so, when I come and give you a message, like Sean here, that has been lovely, I just needed to say yes or no or acknowledge it. Are you with me? Because if you bumped into an old friend in the street or whatever, or somebody you looked, you wouldn't go what, like that, would you? You'd go, oh! Because you go to some events and people are like looking at me like that and I'm thinking, oh, and the people up here are so happy and excited and I'm trying to give the message, are you with me? The person down here looks like this with a poker face. I'm thinking, I'm talking to the person in my head going, what do you want me to do? And the people up there keep going, say it again, say it again. <laughs> I'm just explaining as I'm working, you know, how persistent they are. And they make such an effort to come, bless them. I've also got, I know we've got John there as well, but any, does anybody know a James or a Jim? James or a Jim? Both of you. But you two are related, are you? Okay, so is your James opposed to both of you? Your James or Jim? Which one's up there? Jim. Okay. Jim or James. Jim okay. So James by birth certificate, Jim by, yeah. I'm trying to get more so I can distinguish which one of you we're going to. Are you with me? And you also need to all be aware that in an environment like this, sometimes your messages get over, crossed. So if you think you understand something and the person I'm talking to doesn't, please sort of wave your hand because it might be you playing with me. So, uh, and I've got smoky, got smoke around them. Is he a smoker? Yeah. I'll come back to you in a minute. What's your name, sorry? Judy. Judy. Can you write some things down for me for Judy? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because I have to separate the two. You know it's like that. Are you with me? They don't do that with a point. But I'm doing this. I'm smoking. Okay. Uh, which you misses, by the way. <laughs> uh, yeah, and you know when they're all filtered, so they tap them like that. They tap them and, and smoke them. So anyway, he's smoking. The, the smoke's up there and he misses it. So sometimes when he's around you, you know sometimes you'll smell smoke, but nobody's smoking. Have you ever had that happen? So you sort of go, yeah. yes, yes. Yeah. Well, that's because he's around. That, that's how it will happen. Are you with me? So now if you'll be smoking, you'll be somewhere and you'll think, oh, what's that? And he's just going to, are you with me? Yes, yeah. Okay, yeah. no, so no, you're looking at I'm, I'm thinking about, yeah. Okay. Well, no, I'm just telling you because he'll want you to know when he's there. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So he's saying, when you smell the smoke but nobody's physically <coughs> smoking, it'll be him. Right. Are you with me? Yeah. They can't eat, drink, or smoke up there, by the way. So they do talk a lot about food, drink, cigarettes, and whatever. You know why? Because they miss it they haven't got a physical body anymore. And just in case you're all curious, they don't go to sleep. <laughs> so I would be careful when you say to them, please come and see me, I like, please come and see me while I'm awake. I would add on to that, okay? <laughs> no, seriously. Because you have people say, oh, Vanessa, since I came to see you, and I said it was all right for him to come. Oh, I wake up in the night. Okay? He is saying, though, he's not going to wake you up, but he is talking about dreams. So have you ever had a dream and you've like woken up in the morning and, and he's been on your mind? If you haven't, is that a no? No. If you he haven't... Used, he used to have vivid dreams. Okay. Then, okay, so this is what he's saying to me mm -hmm. to tell you. Because he wants you to know when he's with you. 
So the most common thing that I ever get like, said to me as a medium is, I keep asking for a sign, I don't know whether they're there, I can't feel them, blah, blah, blah. And he's going, so you'll smell the smoke and dreams. So he might have been the dreamer, but what he's saying now is, with your permission, if you're okay with this, he'd like to come. Are you okay with that? Yeah, yeah. And I have just said to him, I don't mean that in waking you up at three in the morning, you with me like you're asleep, you've got a lot of that. <laughs> What's that? You know, I can smell smoke. <laughs> I don't mean that. What I mean is, yeah. he's asking permission so he can come and see you while you're asleep. Yeah. When that happens to any of us, just for your information, you'll wake up and that person will be the first thing in your mind. Are you with you? Wake up and go. Because you all know when you have a dream, within a couple of minutes of waking up, it's gone, hasn't it? Mm -hmm. By the time you flick the kettle on and a drink of water, it's gone. And you think, what was that? Okay. You'll remember as soon as you wake up, you'll open your eyes and over there. Is that, and I know I'm right. Not you said, he's so pleased that you remember his dreams were vivid. Because for him, he, he enjoyed that. He wasn't frightened by it. He, he loved it. He said, he said to me, he said, oh, it'd be like I'll go to sleep and I could see like colour, if he described it to you, like colour or things happening. Vivid. Not everybody gets that. Who, who dreams in colour? If you wake up and you say, oh, okay, my little one, do you do that? He said, just the two, just the two of you. <laughs> And you remember the clock? Exactly. So you'll have to ask me about that later. He loved it. He wasn't disturbed by it. He's not going to do that to you, so don't panic. He's just going to make sure that when you wake up, you have a really lovely feeling, he's saying, of like somebody wrapping you up like that and imagine it that he's been. That he's been. Are you with me? Yeah. He's saying, I'm not going to send you a movie, no Metro Golden Mare, <laughs> nothing like whatever. He said, just enough for you to wake up and know that I love you, you looked after, and I've been. Is that okay? Yeah. That's exactly how he's put it. Yeah. He said, I'm not going to make it over complicated because she won't know, just, just that she knows that I'm watching her. Okay. When I'm talking to him, the energy that I get, did he have a heart condition? Because all down here, as a healer, my hands, all these different fingers represent chakras. And this is really aching, this is the heart chakra. So did he have blood pressure, angina, stroke, heart attack, there's something in this area? So, if it's not that, the only other way I can explain it, because he's talking to me at the same time, it's like heartache. You know when you miss somebody? Mm. You with me? Yeah. That's what he's saying, how much he misses you. Yeah. Uh, cause here, this is where your heart chakra is, okay? Doesn't mean there's anything wrong with your heart, don't okay? <laughs> um, panic. He's just saying how much he misses you. Yeah. You with me? And he can't do any more than what he's doing, giving you these messages, because physically he's there, he's gone. If I, he's actually saying his words are, if I could give her the world, I'd give her the world. Are you with me? Yeah. And he's done it like that. He's gone, but I can't. He says, so will you tell her? And I said, yeah, yeah, I'll tell her. Okay. Is that okay? Yeah, Can I leave sorry. it? Yeah, so, yeah. yeah, wait and see. But I don't think it'll be long. Might be tomorrow morning, next morning, you'll wake up and you'll have that feeling that he's been. Yeah. He just wanted to ask permission, see if you're all right, and make sure you wouldn't be worried about it. Is that okay? Oh, yeah. So I'll leave that with you. Leave him with you over there. Not going anywhere. He's just gonna. He's just gonna. He's just behind you. He's just staying right there. He's coming out. Meeting again. Right, Colin. Val. Oh, nice. Okay, Marion. Have you got your? Have you got your paper bag, love? He's so professional, is it? Have you got your paper bag? Oh, bless him. He's turned up and he's just gone. <sighs> he's gone. Your life, bless him. He, he wants to send the troops in and to get everybody to rally round. And he said, you're, you know, you're, like, you're everybody's rock. That's how he's described you. Okay. He said, um, you need to remember to take time for yourself. Okay. He's very conscious of the fact, bless him. He's sending you as much love and support as he can to back you up, to help support you. He's gone, what? <coughs> he says, you still think you're a spring chicken? He's gone, really? Will somebody just tell her? <laughs> He's gone, I know she's young on the inside. She's got a young a heart. Yeah. That's why he's just like, <laughs> she's got a young heart, a young spirit, and she whatever. He said, but you know, at the end of the day, when you're down there and whatever, she still needs to put her feet up. Okay? Have you been waking up?
up as well in the night. Worrying about what sandwiches yeah, to do next time. Yeah, I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> you must be worrying about stuff and waking up at different points in the evening because, like I said to all of you, they don't go to sleep. So if you've woken up at 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock, 5.35, are you with me? You know, you just look and you go, oh, what, that time? What on earthly hour is this? And he's going, oh, really? You need to try and leave some of it there. Even if, Val, it means doing a to-do list for the next day before you go to bed. So you've just said you've gone to bed and you're dreaming about sandwiches. <laughs> I'm joking. Treats, treats, sandwiches, <laughs> kitchen, <laughs> chocolates, <laughs> crepes. So he's saying, Colin's saying, before you go to bed, can you just write a to-do list? Okay? Uh, and I, who else does that? I do that. I write myself a list of, go to the bank, do this, play that. Are you with me? Because there's like 101 things to do. And as women, we're really good at multitasking, but sometimes we forget something. And he's gone, write a to-do list. He says, by the time you get into bed, he wants you to relax. Okay? So, he sits at the end of the bed. So sometimes when you're in bed, have you ever felt like the bed move a little bit at the end? I haven't noticed. Okay. Well, if you're aware, be aware of that now. Because it's like, you know, if somebody came to sit on the end of your bed just to say, oh, I'm here. And if some of them have still got animals or pets, it'd be that feeling that you're with me like that. So yeah. It's not a big pressure, it'll just be a... And he's saying, that's me. I'll be there, okay? Who likes, what a bizarre thing to say. Um, do you have lavender air fresheners? Probably. <laughs> I'll come, I'll, well, do you understand that? Yeah. Okay, I'll come back to you in a minute. It's because we don't have the communication here, are you with me? Mm. Okay, lavender. not to worry, I'll give, I'll go yeah, to yeah. <laughs> It's just I heard you make a noise as soon as I mentioned <laughs> it, so. Okay. You need to, look, this is what Colin's saying before I go there to that lady, uh, take a little bit of a step back, okay? And he's saying, and he's pointing his finger like that, Val, I don't want you to feel guilty. I don't want you to feel like, oh, I've got to do this and I've got... No. He said at the end of the day, you deserve to have a little bit of a time out and a little bit of a rest. And you need to learn, sometimes he's saying, how to say no. And that does include, look, he said, with the girls. And that's how he said it like that with his fingers going that. Are you with me? He's saying they're grown women. Okay? He said, and you won't be any good to anybody if you're going to push yourself to a level, are you with me, where you're completely exhausted and worn out because then you won't be able to support anybody. He's gone, so how can you help them if you get to that point? He said, I don't want you to get to that point. I want you to take a little bit of a step back and say, do you know what? I'm having this afternoon a week off or I'm having that day off. And I won't be contactable. Are you with me? Just for me. Do whatever you want. So he's laughing because he's just going, if you want to go to a spa, go shopping, spend the day in the duvet, he's gone, I don't mind. I'll come with you. You with me? Even if you're happy, Val, and you show me, you know you're like you pottering around on your own. So say you go to a few shops on you, just on your own. Not getting anything for anybody. That's what he just said. Not getting anything for anybody. Not shopping for anybody. <laughs> Because he knows what you like, you'll be going, oh, such and such and like that, such and such and like that. Okay, so can you do that? I can. And he is on hand this evening, by the way. Okay, okay. He said, I'm on duty. Okay. So he will be with you, and he's making sure you're okay when you're going home. Are you driving home? Yeah. You do drive slowly, don't you? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Good. Keeps the speed limit. Good. Because yeah. he's saying he likes to sit in the car with you. So I'm in the car in the yeah. dark. Do you not like driving in the dark? No, I don't mind. Okay. Yeah. Did he not like it? He's going on about driving yeah. in the dark. Yeah. Okay. Well, he'll be with you anyway, so he's going to be sat in the front seat there. Okay. Yeah. When he was here, did he do things like say, we need to go that way, we need to go this way? Because he's, he's sort of giving you directions. If you don't understand, bear this in mind. If in future, you know, you think, I don't know where I'm going, I'm not quite sure, will you ask him? Okay. And then you'll just get a feeling like, oh, I'll, I'll turn that way then. It's something about navigation and asking him to help. Well, okay. he was spot on and I'm useless. Yeah. <laughs> well, I knew there was some reason for it. You know, we all have a sat-nav. Mm -hmm. I'm terrible, because I'm at the generation where we didn't have one. So people are saying to me, look at they put the sat-nav for the postcode. And I'm going, no. What are you talking about? Well, I know the area. I'll get to the area, then I'll work it out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Absolutely. When you used to pull over to the garage or the pub and just go in and go, do you know where that is? And they go, over these lights, turn right and over the roundabout. 
So he's saying he'll be with you, giving directions, sat beside you, especially in the dark. Thank you, dear. So you'll be protected, you'll be absolutely fine. Okay? Right, God bless. I'm going to leave that there. Hello! I don't want to call you lavender air freshener. <laughs> the lavender air freshener lady. So, when we were talking, who were we talking? James, Jim, wasn't it? 